This video reviews the basic functions that you might use in your Medmont E300 corneal topographer. Start by creating a patient or selecting from an existing patient. Then click Capture Topography. Remember to center the green crosshair over the apex ring. The red line indicating how close or far away we are. Move the instrument forward to line up the red and the green on top of the central ring. But when the Placido reflection looks poor, like it is now with tear film breakup, let's ask the patient to blink, smooth out the tear film, and start again. Let's click Clear Images. Ask the patient to blink. Open up as wide as possible. Take our image above 95% all the way across the top of the window, 97, 97, 97, 99. Right click, select the zoom tool. Zoom in, make sure the rings look parallel and even. A small little tear film breakup can be visible right here. That would indicate we should clear images and go back in and take another image with an absence of any tear film breakup or distortion in the placido. And a blink. And a blink again. Good. Now we have an image over 95%. Zooming in, we see the rings look parallel and even. Let's click Save. We can take additional images on each eye. That way we can be certain that we're looking at the true shape of the eye by taking multiple images of the same eye. We can compare them against each other to see if the information is reproducible. But always save the best one, clear images, and then start again by taking additional images on the same eye. If we open up this patient file, we can select that image we just took. We can go up to display and analyze this eye in axial power. Axial is the best way to interpret refraction or the power on the corneal surface. This patient has a with the rule corneal astigmatism. We see the steep meridian running vertical. We see it's very regular. The superior hemisphere, a mirror of the inferior, the nasal, a mirror of the temporal. We could switch to tangential and understand the shape of the eye. If we look at the contours, this cornea looks to be displaced, slightly inferior and temporal on this right eye. If we look at each one of these hot cont contours and how they're pulled inferior temporal. We could look at the elevation of the eye and see that a rigid contact lens dropped on this eye is going to hit heaviest on this red and on its opposing side here, it's going to lift greatest where you see blue. So this is high elevation where you see hot colors and low elevation on the corneal surface where you see blue. We could look at the tear film quality and see that this patient's central tear film quality looks pretty good. The blue, dark blue area within the center is very consistent. The darker the blue, the better the quality of the tear film, the hotter the colors the more likely you have tear film breakup. So we can use the display window to assess the topography multiple different ways, and even to put it into a 3D perspective if we wanted to understand that eye a different way.